Hello friends, uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, so you all know uh, this is our high tech institution YouTube channel. I hope uh, before this uh, series, right, uh, we have completed the AWS cloud troubleshooting videos. I think somewhere around you know, close to 10 videos we have uploaded in the playlist. So I got a request from many other people. Uh, they wanted to know, know about AWS and DevOps uh, job opportunity. So in this uh, playlist, right, this is the first video. Uh, here I am planning to cover somewhere around 10 different videos. Each video is right. I am going to talk about the job opportunities of uh, AWS and DevOps. So this is going to be really, really useful to all of you. Based on the response, right, uh, the people uh, who are going to give, uh, based on that, right, uh, further videos I am planning to make. Okay. So kindly uh, go ahead and uh, like this video and share with your friends and definitely, you know, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay. So let me quickly take you to AWS and DevOps job opportunity. All right, guys. So this is the uh, nakuri.com. Okay. So here for presenting all of you, right, I created one uh, fake, uh, you know, Nakuri profile. So of course, uh, <laughs> I cannot share my personal one into uh, the public YouTube channel, right? So that is the reason I've created on a uh, Nakuri profile. Based on this Nakuri profile only, the upcoming video, as I said, that I'm planning to have somewhere around 10 uh, different uh, videos I'm planning to make for the AWS opportunity. So this is my profile and many of them, right, complaining, hey, Harry, nowadays I'm not getting a call. Uh, I'm trying to change my career. So what is the way recruiters are not noticing me? So many of them worrying about that area. So for them only, uh, parallelly, each and every video, I'll cover one, one uh, portion of, uh, you know, uh, Nakuri update, how to highlight our Nakuri profile in terms of getting a call. Okay. And uh, once Nakuri have completed everything, then I'll be planning to cover the LinkedIn profile also. How are we going to update a LinkedIn profile? How we can make sure there are lakhs of profiles are available in LinkedIn and Nakuri. As of today, as per statistics, right, uh, recruiters are using most LinkedIn and the Nakuri. Okay, Nakuri play a crucial role here, especially into IT and the cloud environment I'm telling you about. So we have to, you know, fine tune our Nakuri profile as what I updated. Similarly, right, if you fine tuning your Nakuri profile, that will be really, really great. You will get a lots of calls, okay, from the recruiter. Fine. So this is a, uh, in the name of Vignesh, I've created one, uh, you know, uh, profile. See, you can, I've just used my image from the, you know, internet, however. So I've mentioned my role as a cloud DevOps engineer at Miracle Software, you know, private limited. That's fine. So here I have updated my sample resume. So I'll, I'll share the upcoming video. I'm planning to share the resume templates also with you all. Okay, no need to worry about it. So the, the thing is all about guys, the based on the response, you know, uh, what you guys gave, uh, that kind of a boosting me up. So it will make me to, uh, you know, prepare further videos. Okay, it's all about in your hand. So just to go ahead and like on, you know, the like for the video and add one, you know, comment. Okay, any any positive comment that's really helpful for me to make another video. That's, that's what all maximum expecting from you. All right. So fine, uh, when you look at, right, uh, the mic, make sure when you are part of your cloud uh, uh, person, yeah, you need to give your uh, proper resume headlines uh, after giving you the you know resume and uh, personal information uh, make sure uh, you are giving your uh, you know proper uh, resume headline uh, this is resume headline right see a uh, comprehensive enterprise cloud uh, infrastructure built on aws and uh, azure gcp and devops best practices infrastructure as a code terraform cloud formation and organization with the kubernetes okay it's of creating a high quality solution so uh, we are going to provide a uh, better uh, resume headlines. What we are going to, okay, what will, what we'll do, and when you are giving a resume headline, right, make sure to mention all the technologies you worked on. Okay, see, you can. Uh, I've mentioned. I, I am a multi-cloud expert, so I mentioned all three cloud in the first line itself. Also, I had. I'm very good in DevOps, so I've mentioned that. DevOps best practices as well. In addition to that, I have mentioned, you know, uh, infrastructure as a code, cloud formation, Kubernetes. The, the high level items that right, I've mentioned. Very next point, right, in the key skill, I've mentioned like Azure, Jenkins, what other DevOps tools specifically, I'm, you know, I have a good exposure. Boto3, Docker, and Python scripting, Git, GCP, DevOps, Jenkins server, EC2, Ansible. So wherever maximum possible, you know, the skill set, uh, it's very important to mention because the recruiter, when they are searching for the profile, right, based on this keyword, there are huge chances your resume will coming to your, you know, uh, top priority. 
all right and i also wanted to suggest you one thing if anybody seriously looking for a job change if anyone seriously looking for a career change into aws kind of and the ops kind of platform right i want all of you to frequently update uh, something in your profile the number of time you update right uh, that will be you know for the recruiters right they'll filter the profile recently updated profile actually if you frequently do update you are adding that skill you are removing that skill you are frequently you know doing some certain changes that definitely gives you and boost you up uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, making sure to get a better uh, you know uh, call from the correct recruiter all right so here i have opened some of the jobs for you okay uh, some of them are having a confusion uh, Harry, um, i'm getting a many call but i don't know i'm afraid whether to choose that interview or how can i you know pick the company and how can i identify the you know the right uh, roles and responsibility of mine currently i'm working in this field so many company right what they are doing after recruiting right they'll be you know adding you into different uh, uh, project where you won't get much technical exposure so all those things are happening so uh, what i'm suggesting you strongly you need to go through the job requirement first all of you right uh, must have the capability of going through the uh, jobs description it's something called as a jd i don't know how many of you are aware about this term jd job description is a play a crucial role today so you need to go through the jd you need to understand each and every you know jd of uh, many you know different uh, recruitment uh, teams given to you the thing is all about uh, again i told you right this playlist going to have a close to 10 different videos all those videos that i'm planning to include this different different you know job description and everything okay that gonna give you how to review the job description what are the things to be considered after going through the job description how we can prepare for the interview uh, that everything right you have to design okay that everything you have to design but that's fine so see i have taken a company where aws solution architect is a requirement you know alpha net the company name i hiring for the leading client okay they, they have an experience they are looking for the candidate who has 10 to 20 years of experience salary some company used to disclose and some company right not disclose it's purely based upon right their current ctc and company will have a budget to your uh, role and designation what grade you are going to the company it's all inclusive okay uh, if you want to know about that right uh, the uh, grade of each company designation and you know or the salary negotiation all those things so commented i can make a different video for that i don't want to confuse over here so these are the location where the openings are available if you want to apply so don't apply blindly many people are doing the same mistake so, yeah i need to get a call i need to get a call from many people they'll go and open and play all the jobs it's, that's not a right way of doing actually you need to check when this job has been posted okay some jobs right the requested uh, request uh, recruitment team side they would have posted very long back even if you're applying for that is no matter in applying it actually okay so you need to make sure the job whatever you are looking into it the posted within a week that is really you know uh, very important uh, to before you know going for applying for any job make sure uh, there are three uh, days uh, before it's been posted that's fine so you can check the job highlights okay you need to check a certified aws devops engineer you know proficient in coding debugging aws experience with so they are mainly looking for the certified candidates so again make sure uh, see instead of blindly applying for the job this is something really needed for the certified candidate if you are really certified in any end of the aws stream that's really added benefit to you uh, you are considered okay uh, you know proficient in coding and debugging aws experience and everything so aws code artifact and certification aws certified solution architect are professional is mandatory see the, if you are generally going with the solution architect associate right they are not considering i believe but that is the reason see they are mandatory they are mentioned like professional the people whoever wanted to apply this job right make sure if you have a professional certification try for it okay so one of those three certificate aws certificate machine learning aws security or data analyst any one is would be fine devops experience s3 backup and glacier security okay that is that is fine it's everyone today right having a knowledge of s3 and all fine you can come over here this is something called as a job description about this company right a certified aws devops engineer provision and coding and debugging you should do the coding as well as you should debug the issue whenever there is a problem in the environment uh, in the platform uh, as a senior person right as a aws solution architect you are you need to make sure to in and out and everything what are the roles they are using in the current company see aws experience with working with engineering to create a proof of concept poc okay so whenever uh, there is a new project comes uh, we will be doing the poc for them right literally uh, you know uh, based on the poc and based on the you know samples you'll get a many opportunity to get a project to the company 
So you have a good exposure with creating POC setup and even AWS elements to use to based on the uh, business requirement. You should know whenever there is a client requirement, right? As a person, you should be having a capability of suggesting, okay, for this requirement, we can use this service. For this requirement, we can use this automation tool. That much level of you know capability you should have only then you can consider for the interview. Why I'm giving this priority each and every line I'm giving priority nowadays job recruiter and the technical person during the technical interview also they are uh, very much you know uh, strongly looking for a candidate uh, who has a uh, uh, based on the JD whether they went through the JD or not based on the JD only they are uh, taking the interview and all today. Okay, they are analyzing your capacity and capability. They they are giving during the interview they'll give you a scenario based scenarios. Is, so you have to understand the scenario in such a way based on their JD. So they will give you a scenario. They will expect you to suggest your DevOps tool. Maybe you know, possibilities are there. So make sure you are having knowledge on this. And analyze and present the comparison of multi-cloud solutions where you should know uh, what cloud I should use. Whether if you're using AWS, what will cost you? What service I should take? And same time, right, you should have a knowledge on Azure and GCP. So you need to compare across multiple cloud, which is something called a hybrid environment. So in the hybrid environment, you should know what service cost you less and where you can expect a good performance. All those comparisons, right? As a person, you should be you know, having strong knowledge. Not AWS alternative to execute a final decision making. Okay, that's fine. So uh, if you are suggesting any point other than AWS, right? That will have a final discussion and based on the you know, uh, discussion and the final decision has been taken care. So uh, the first priority they gives AWS, okay? So serverless Fargate. So you should nowadays almost every environment, right? They are going with the serverless. I think that is a hot uh, technology, I believe, for upcoming days. I, I, I know purely I'm telling you all. So make sure to have a uh, this specific, uh, you know, serverless uh, Fargate profile and AWS HMaker, the service they are looking for, EKS, Terraform. Today, almost everywhere, right? They are, you know, asking for a Terraform. Uh, today, as far as my understanding, right? Uh, somewhere around uh, every company uh, mandatory 99.99 percentage they are with terraform they are asking a terraform expert so go and learn terraform if anyone who are watching this video if anyone knew right go and watch that and aws organization and control tower that's good aws sso for a single sign on okay devops expertise ecr and code artifact so that's fine certification we have already discussed so your role will be solution architect yeah that is the reason i said you know you should understand the client requirement. You need to build the environment, security perspective and monitoring perspective, log management perspective, cost optimization, everything you should have a knowledge. Okay. Moreover, you should know suggesting client. You need to give the suggestion to your client, which is the right cloud and which is the right service for the requirement and which is the right DevOps tool for the client requirement. As a solution architect, that will be your challenging part in this role. Okay. Industry, IT service and consulting. Okay. Engineering software and software development. Okay, education, they said any PG, there is no, they have not uh, no, uh, educated anything. Skill set, primarily, no, they are looking for AWS HMaker, infrastructure support, EKS, AWS, ECR, DevOps, accounts management is not a big deal. So, this is the key, you know, and solutions architecture. So, that is very important. So, you need to, in this role, probably I am expecting, you need to write uh, lots of documentation as well as architecture diagram. You need to design architecture. Everything will be coming. That is what my understanding. All right. So, all right, guys. Now, at least you have some basic idea in the video one. I don't want you guys to make it overload in the first video itself. Similarly, I'm going to make a very useful video. Uh, you know, uh, like I'm going to review many jobs and where to apply, whom can apply, how can people identify the correct job for your you know, requirement. Everything I'm going to make it on upcoming videos. Let's go with small, small videos. It's not, you know, uh, uh, make pushing, dumping into all the content in the single videos. It's the end of the day, not going to become uh, useless. I'll make small, small videos. So all again, I want from support from you people is if you give me equal support, it will motivate me. I'll make further more videos keeps on. Okay. Simply go and like the video and uh, give one comment. If you really enjoyed that, it's really useful to you. Uh, just to make one comment, I really enjoyed and really useful for me. Please post me further more videos. If you have any specific topic also, suggest in the group. I'll do that video for you. Okay. And subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Uh, it will be definitely useful to them. Okay. Thank you guys. We'll meet you on you know video two.